Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Delusional's Arcade. So as you can see, I'm in my car, I'm driving. I'm actually heading out to New Jersey. It's about a two hour trip from where I am. It's actually not too bad at all. I thought it was gonna be a lot farther. I'm heading out to Joe Sable's Arcades. Um, he does, um, you know, signage and printing and everything for, um, for arcade work. And he has this amazing machine. <laughs> he has a six player uh, arcade, which is uh, kind of rare. I actually used to own one a while ago and it's super hard to get the artwork for this thing. I don't think anyone repros it. He's like the first guy that's gonna do it. I tried getting it off the ground a while back, uh, years ago when I owned one, um, and that kind of failed a little bit. Um, I just didn't have enough resources for everything. Uh, but I did send Joe my files. He took a look at them, and um, he ended up using his own. He creates a lot of stuff from scratch. He has higher res scans than I can do, um, and he just color matches everything. He has a huge printer, um, and he prints on this great stock that has like microscopic holes that prevents it from um, you know um, bubbling and stuff. So uh, without further ado, I'm not gonna uh, ruin the episode, but we are on our way. So. Take a ride with me and come see this thing because this thing is amazing. Your jaw is going to drop when you see it. I've seen pictures of it. So, all right guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the episode. All right guys, I gotta tell you, I really enjoy driving out and I enjoy it even more when I don't have to haul anything. Uh, we're strictly going there just to take a look at it and document it and just uh, be in awe of the artwork process. Uh, but I have the sunroof open, the sun's out, got my sunglasses on, I got my coffee over here, it's nice and early in the morning. Um, we're in manual mode in my car, having some fun driving, you know, with the shifters and stuff. So I love doing this stuff, I love driving, going out, and I love it even more when I do something I like, which is uh, arcade related things. So uh, let's continue on this journey and uh, see you when we get there. Right, guys so we're here we're actually gonna let's step out lock it up so this is it this is uh sable signs he does uh signage as well as everything else he does taxidermy but the thing we're here for is let's see if he's here joe hey joe hey, man. oh you're in the back What's happening? What's up, man? How are you? Yeah. How was the ride? Good. There's a lot of traffic, but you know, I'm used to it because of New York City. Nice. <laughs> what do you think of this neck of the woods? It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Yeah, yes, I, I see. You have tons of projects everywhere, man. Yes, lots of projects. <laughs> I'm, uh, and keeping busy. What are you working on? I got some centipede here I was just working on. Um, this is a full side art. I got a request. You know, I've done it with the black. Oh, it's like the midnight the white. midnight version. Yeah, yeah that's got cool. Some different options. So I'm just going over the file, getting ready to start printing one of these out. So is that all vectorized? It is. Well, this particular one right now, I put it in Photoshop for the final steps, but it was, you can see. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. So I took it in there. I added the outline because normally it, it wouldn't have that stroke around it. Right. It would just be the white. You know, right. This pink or purple color would bleed right off. So I wanted to... Uh, Otherwise, if I take that off, it just kind of got lost on the black. Right. So and that's all that. customer requests. They wanted it that way. Yeah. But actually, there's been quite a, bit, a demand for this style. Um, the black is kind of being in a lot for a lot of the games. So it's just a different twist. Cool. So you have anything like, um, I don't know, out that we can see? I mean, I'm sure we're going to yeah. walk through the whole I'll thing. I'll show you here. This is something um, that I just finished up. So this is for a Cabaret Tempest. Okay, cool. And Original Tempest was just wood grain. You could see the same as this centipede. Oh, so okay, yeah. So it just had the wood grain on the side. Right, so right. All the cabaret, which a cabaret is just a, a miniature version of mm -hmm. the normal full size. These were big in bars when people didn't want all the artwork. So it was a little more like just a, a stripped down version, not so appealing to, you know, all mm -hmm. the graphics and stuff. They obviously had front art 
but most of the cabinets, almost all of them, not everyone, but most of them had just this wood grain. Right. Some people still love it. Um, we have a vinyl that matches it. There's a laminate that I have that's very close. But a lot of guys were starting to do more and more custom ones that these didn't have art, so now we're doing right. artwork on it. So this is just a standard Atari cabaret. A lot of titles had the same exact cabinet shape. Right. So what we're doing is we're, we utilized this guy wanted this custom Tempest mm -hmm. um, and to be full side. There are other companies out there that have sold smaller versions. So it kind of was just in here and still had wood grain on the outside. Right, but right. He wanted something that pretty much took up the whole area. And I have two versions of this. I did my original one that had a black bar here. Um, but now this last customer requested, he's like, I love it, but I'd like to see that black bar. Removed. Right. So I had to go back in and pretty much recreate that whole area. You would think you could just delete the line, but the line wasn't in a layer. So right. you couldn't delete so that So you had line. to just so I had to literally recreate that area, which it was a lot of Dude, work. That's to crazy. Do that. But now it's a second option for people. Oh, I see. Okay. So see the bar here. Yeah. Now, I did this originally because this kind of simulated what the original had. Right. The original did have a bar. You know, some people like it that way, but this is just another option. So yeah. we have So you have both. We have both options. So actually awesome. come over here and I'll show you sure. the actual print. This is obviously the yeah, one I'll go on the opposite side over yeah, here. Yeah, this is the one without the line. But you can see the finished product. Wow. So this is going to be one decal right to the edge, and it's going to cover the entire side. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Wow, it looks good. I can't even... If you didn't tell me that, I would never have known that you had done that yourself. It's really, yeah, cool. really cool. So this is still waiting for laminate. This literally just came off the printer. So mm -hmm. then the next step would be running through the laminate. Um, I have lots of different laminate. It's going to depend on what it is we're, we're doing. Right. If it's side art, we have matte, satin, and gloss is the most common options. Cool. We got some of this Pac-Man yep. here. This is another cool title here that we're working on um, for a client. Oh, okay. This is actually going on a Nintendo cab. Um, this is going into his office. Oh, so it's a corporate movie. logo, I got Yeah, you. so it's going to be a corporate logo. We have the reverse mounted marquee. So there's another project of mine here, um, the Crazy Taxi, absolute classic. Yeah. I played it originally, honestly, I didn't even know it was an arcade years ago, but I played it for Dreamcast. That's it's really close, it. it really is. Yeah. So, I mean, it's um, Naomi, right, that's yeah. in there? Yeah. So. So this is this thing is the heaviest cabinet I've ever I believe it. in my life. I believe it's said to be 600 pounds. Yeah, we'll give a shout out to Bradley who just moved it. Yeah, <laughs> over on the the user groups there, Mid Atlantic. That is is crazy heavy. Yeah, he moved his and he was like, dude, never again. It's a yeah, keeper. <laughs> another buddy of mine on the group, Daryl, he got one and he had to completely break it down. Yeah, that's what I think that's what he did to put it into his basement. Yeah. And even breaking every component down, which is a lot of work. Yeah. You know what I mean, remembering where everything goes and labeling everything. But you still got to deal with that monitor. That monitor's got to be two, three hundred pounds. Yeah. Just alone. Oh, yeah. You know. That's crazy. Yeah. Cool. So let me show you the printer in here. All right. This is the baby that does it all. large format printer. Now my main business is the sign shop. Mm -hmm. So I've been in business since uh, 90. And everything is all my all my signs, vehicles, pretty much every job that goes out of this shop is run on this machine. Wow. And this thing is a pretty penny, I'm sure this is 54 inches um, wow. by obviously unlimited length, right? Because the rolls. Yep. Yeah. And it's double ink. So it's really super durable just the way they are, but everything I print is then laminated on top of that. Mm -hmm. And then this machine is the actual plotter. So right. if anything Which cuts is everything die out. cut, you know, it's plotted. So we have registration marks on bezels, marquee, well, not so much on marquee because that's square, 
So a lot of stuff I still will cut by yeah, hand. It right. just depends on the increase, you know, how. Yeah, I think, and guys, uh, if you want, check out his channel. He has a channel, Sables Arcades, where he shows, you know, how he's plotting everything out, how yeah. the software works, and how it cuts everything. It's really interesting Yeah, so to in see. the program, I design it, it has a registration marks. This machine knows where it is, and then they talk to each other, basically. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. So these here are just all projects you're still working on or that you just acquired? These are yeah. actually my own personal pickups. Um, obviously part of this hobby, I'm an avid collector. Is I'm as big of a collector as the next guy. I do this for <laughs> a living, but I absolutely love arcade games. So I picked these up and these are waiting to be this honestly, I'm not going to do a lot of restoration to. This is all original. Yeah, it's in really um, nice shape. So Look I'm at that side art. Leave it. I'm pretty much going to leave it alone. And that's silk screened on? This is silk screened that's on so the original cool. decal. The, Dude, that's the, so the nice. original decal was silk screened, but wow. this is a full decal. Wow. Yeah. Now I do also, I've made this already for people. So it's really cool to see, you know, most of the stuff that I produce, I like to have an original in-house mm -hmm. because I don't want to just go by like ideas like oh it looks photos. the same looks similar so I yeah have actual in-house you could just print the sample colors, right yeah it's 100 that's accurate. super important the colors it you is. know a lot of people don't do that they'll just take a yeah. file and print it yep yeah. so this is one of my favorite cabs um i remember playing this back in the in the 80s <laughs> yeah in the arcade you know and i was very fortunate it was to, hard too. to acquire one of these yeah. so this is still waiting this actually had full decal that was black Mm -hmm. from the original and then it was an applied side art on top of that so i pulled that off i'm actually going to do laminate on the sides okay and i do have the multi-board oh the multi-exity okay cool yeah so that's going to have all the exity really that's really cool really camera. pricey yes. i know that yep because they're not rare. they're not it's made hard anymore to find. It's, right it's yeah a hard thing to find. so i'm actually going to take this apart powder coat i'm going to go really yeah. all out on yeah this. you might as well i mean yeah you know so it's, it's, look it's nice. a great wait. game I mean, yes, it has value. It's probably one of the most valuable games that I have, but I'm not doing it because of that. It's just, I like the game. You like it. Watch. So you're going to keep it? It's a keeper? I definitely. Yeah. All right, so I'll play it in the future, I'm sure. Very unique. <laughs> you could even play it today. <laughs> got a gyrus here. This is all original. Um, That's cool. It's even got some cool old carvings in here from when it was in an arcade. Some of these yeah, you know, I left mine. Initials. I call it Patina. Yep. Yeah, so this is neat. This is cool. Um, Really nice little Miss Pac-Man. It's actually an original Pac-Man. Wow. That was, you know, they sold the other boards that you can convert the Pac-Man into this Pac-Man. So it's all original other than the underlay. Somebody put a Miss Pac-Man right. conversion. But still, over. it looks, it yeah, almost looks like factory. Really like, good. You can tell it was home use because there's yeah. no way this would be out. It'd Super be like... clean. There's almost no screen burn, which is really awesome. Wow. Got my Gorf here. That, that's some really neat artwork on this. Mm -hmm. um, it's just very futuristic and really neat. That's yeah, like I, asteroid, I mean not asteroid, Space Invaders meets Galaga. Right. It's like the combo of the two. Yeah, they wanted to get a better value for your quarter, I guess. Yeah. Um, I used to have one that was gutted and I never, you know, that's before I knew any better. This was like pff, at least 10 to 15 years ago. Yeah. And uh, I sold it to a collector and I'm sure he did some good with it, but. Uh, so this is, Obviously, Centipede. I mm -hmm. have a brand new monitor in this, which is really cool. I will do a, a new overlay. As you can see, this is cracked. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm probably going to do my own. I've already had it designed. Um, oh, the full side art. Full yeah, side I think art. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, and you can, Online, yep. Yep, so that's what, that's what I'm going to do to that. But overall, the game plays good. It's These are all good sound. titles, you know? Yeah, I mean, Cuber, Spy, This Cuber, is another Spy one Hunter. I'm going to do a full-blown, strip it completely down. Because this has some pretty rough paint finish on it. Oh yeah, they so did that a lot with the I'm blacks. I'm gonna do yeah. a laminate side, yellow laminate. I've already got all the art that I've done for other clients. Um, I'm gonna redo, there's actually a missing piece here. Right, yeah. And this is common, see how this was cut because this breaks and gets worn. So a lot of these guys would just cut this right. and then repaint it from that point on. It looks better than all broken up. Right. Know? But it's, it's not accurate. And you're gonna get the swearing uh... Yeah, well, I have both. This is the original that's in there. I actually do offer both, but I, I probably keep this one in here just mm -hmm. because this is the original that was in here. Okay. So as much as I love doing custom stuff, 
I also love to keep things original. Right. So I don't want people to think that I'm always have to change things. Right. Because it's, it's, it just depends. Mm -hmm. This here, this is another one. Um, I had a good friend of mine do a lot of work for this. Dave, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. He, this, this thing had a lot of mechanical issues. He got this board. This thing is running beautiful now. Wow. The cabinet is a little rough. I will have to probably, I've actually even thought about even basically rebuilding this whole cabinet from start because the bottom isn't even original, um, but everything is here, you know what I mean? So it's just yeah. really the cabinet. I have the side art that I'm probably 75 to 80% done mm -hmm. redoing. I've already So that's full things. side art. It's not just yeah. a decal no, on top, right? You can tell because up here. But see, this was already somebody, this bit. is not original. This right. is aftermarket already. Oh, okay. Because honestly, the real original, if anyone knows when they're seeing this video, this isn't even really white. It's like an off-white. And then up here where this, there's nothing here, is, is actual white. So it's almost like like a real, real light eggshell white right. with actual side art. So this is a reproduction. Um, the cabinet wasn't really ever prepared correctly, so this is why this is what's going on. Right. So I'm going to redo this because well, this is good a hands. title that's really, <laughs> <laughs> this is a title that's worthy of, of going that far. Yeah, I yeah. love that game. You can't reproduce it in main. Yeah. The controls is what it is. Well, that's it's all it. the controls. You got a game like this. Cubert is another one because you see that it's almost like the, the joystick would have to be in a 45 degree yeah. angle. Because if you try to play this in main, when you're jumping up, you're going left. Or you know, right it's, it's funny, really but. Difficult. I know people are going to yell at me, but I prefer it the other way because I learned on ColecoVision. Yeah. And that's up, down, left, right. Right. Some people would turn it like sideways, but I yeah. would just play it normal. But see, so I'm in, used a to it. in a joystick on a home console, yeah. they designed it to be able to be played that way. Right. But this, if you try to use a joystick, it's mentally going to screw you all up yeah. because it, it's not going where you think it is. Yeah. You'd almost have to, and I haven't tried it, but you can see that the joystick is actually in a 45. Yeah. You see? Yep. It's in a 45 degree angle. So that up is actually diagonal. So it's interesting. That's cool. Yeah. And this you salvaged. I could see it's kind of messed yes. up on the top. This it's game pretty cool. was so badly damaged. <laughs> and I hated to throw the side art out. Yeah. So I'm like, man, what can I do with it? So I just made wall art. It literally was. It's cool. Point. I like it. I mean, look at the size. I like that you left the T molding on there too, hanging. <laughs> this is supposed <laughs> to be three quarter inches. Holy crap. So look how wide that was. Wow. Water damage was not even the word <laughs> for that. But I, I hated to um, throw it completely Yeah, it's out. cool. It's a good idea. It's neat. See a couple of Miss Pac-Man CPOs that's control panels that's going to be getting some art on it for some cabarets I have in there. This is Zookeeper. Nice. Or actually, no, that's that's the uh, or Kicks. Oh, the Kicks, yeah. The Zookeeper is, yep. is already done in here. Somewhere. And so you spray everything yourself? Everything is sprayed. I'll show you my paint system. So in here is my spray booth. This is a full-size spray booth. This shop was my uh, dad's auto body shop. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's the garage. Yeah, and so I guess you can, rolled you everything right in. You can pull it in. Um, I have a full wow. mixing station. Now, years ago, when Holy we had crap. the auto body business, we had the full mixing station for the auto body. But right, right. I now have, this is in the, this is for the wow. sign industry. Matthews is, is a big manufacturer, really, really good uh, paint. It's very durable. I've had signs out there for 15 years that still look almost as good as when they were. Wow. So we're using these on arcades. They're not even in outside elements. Right. So you can so imagine last the durability. Forever. And you know, the problem with latex and paints are they never seem dry. Mm -hmm. They always feel sticky, and actually vinyl won't even stick to it right. I, I've had people put it on and it rolls right off. It's not right. It's not the best thing. Everyone is not going to be able to have this in the facility though, so that's the problem. Because you got a waste factor you got to get rid of. Mm -hmm. But what's cool about this is I can mix any color. You know, let's say we're, we're mixing a color. This was a Star Wars cabinet I was doing. This is all done in a computer. Mm -hmm. I have a book that has chips, or I can mix matching Pantone colors, whatever it is, I can do that. And then it's based on scale weight. So I put a oh, okay. here and depending on what color it tells me to put in, white, black, blue, red, dark green. That's awesome, and, man. And it mixes it perfect. Now, you yeah, who needs uh, who needs anyone to do it for you when you have that? It's, yeah. It's just, I mean, there's still, 
stuff you have to go. I mean, right. a lot of people still go by eye and you have to be trained on that too. But it's hard to be consistent, like especially right. when you're making a big batch. Imagine making a whole big batch of something, you put one wrong component, now you've wasted right. a lot. And this particular paint is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. For one gallon of one color is 130 bucks. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, very expensive. Wow. Yeah, we were actually the first company in this county at the time. It's gonna be very echoey now because obviously it's, it's open. But this is a cross draft booth and we have baseboard heat throughout, so that's got its own heating system. So every cabinet, everything that I do is sprayed, everything. We're using industrial grade primers and, and that paint system that I just showed you. So we're getting a super smooth, real nice durable finish, and then the side art is put on top of that. Now another process that we've been doing a lot of, depending on the cabinet and what it is, we'll put laminate on the sides. So like on Nintendo CADs and stuff like that. We'll, and I'll show you that when we go out there. But we're actually putting, Formica is just a brand, but it's, it's vertical grain laminate. And Formica is just a name that most people think of, of what it is that we use. So that's adhered. You still gotta do the body work though, because the body work still has to be perfect, the edges, because the router when you're cutting that is gonna follow whatever it is. So if you have voids on the edges, oh, yeah. the router's following it. So you still, and even the flat surface, but you're saving the priming and painting stages. Is it a cheaper method? It's not, it's probably close Sometimes because- it's worth its weight in gold. Yeah, like, but then you have a perfect finish yeah. on, on the side. So this is awesome. I mean, you got filters and everything and yep. comes in through, it goes out. That's awesome. Here we got a lot of my uh, Flexi for like bezels, marquees, already okay. pre-cut, ready to go. You know what I mean? Obviously, I still have to cut a lot because there's all kind of random sizes. Right. You, you could never have every size. I mean, it's amazing. As much art as we do in titles and things, every day a new thing pops up that you're like, wow, there's even more. Mm -hmm. So so here's some of the Nintendo. Oh, wow, um, dude. We actually take them completely <laughs> apart. We have to remove the whole cabinet on the front because there would be no way to laminate this with it still right. on. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. with the speaker grill. Mm -hmm. So we have to remove those, do any repair body work. It has to be sanded really rough um, so that it you gets have tacky. good adhesion. Yeah. yeah, so what we had to do is like all the inside is resprayed and mm -hmm. we're gonna do all that painting first. All the body work, anything was resprayed. The top, the back has all been redone. Mm -hmm. And then the last step is going to be the laminate. Wow. So these cabinets literally look like new when they're done. Yeah, I believe it. But it's a lot of work. And then sometimes you got to make a new base. Yeah. But with these being raised, that was such a smart idea that I'm not sure why a lot more companies didn't do that. And Nintendo I wonder if they did that of, because it was, I mean, Nintendo cabs are kind of small. Yeah, they are. So small. I wonder if they, that was like an afterthought it's that just happened. Though, even with it on. Yeah, that they were like, but okay. But another thing that's nice about Nintendo cabs versus almost all other companies is it's actually real wood. Yeah. This is true plywood. Not many cabinets out there are true plywood. I think plywood. some juniors are MDF. Yeah, there's a, there's a few. Right, yeah. And there's other companies, there's a few manufacturers out there, but for the most part, Nintendo was always known right. for that. And that's, and it also, they use screws and and staples so it can be removed, but it takes some time because you right. splinter and break stuff trying to get them out. Right. This is another cool project that's gonna be on the way soon, is Circus Charlie. I love Circus Charlie. scanned this in and revectorized this full side art. Um, we're gonna actually do stencil stars again. That's on this. cool. I don't think I did the marquee. I do, I do have the marquee, but I don't think I did the CPO. So this has, this is a prime example of what we're talking about, where the sides have, have water swell. So I don't know if you can see it, but from here down, it has swelled. Oh up. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to, I'm tossing up, yeah, I'm either gonna make complete two new full sides, or I'm actually going to cut up above that here. Oh, and, and biscuit I'll join biscuit it together. Join it from yeah. that point forward. Yeah. So I'm not sure yet um, what we're gonna do on that, but it's gonna have one of the two on Yeah. Oh. Have you seen um, Arcade Body Shop? Yes. Jeff, yeah. yeah. He yeah. does, he's like the expert in that, you know. Yeah, I've done so. I've sent him some art. He's got 
my Pac-Man art I sent for his flood thing. Oh, okay. That's all my art. He has yeah. Right. Yeah, he said he's going to eventually get back to it, and I don't blame him. I know family stuff happens. It yeah, happened he's to actually me last now year. just started. Yeah. I got a whole journey set I sent to him probably yeah. like a month ago now. So yeah. I recently talked to him. He's, he's really cool. Yeah, he's yeah. a really nice guy. So here is the X-Men original control panel. This is off of the original machine. Wow. So I actually made a brand new control panel itself from this. This Use this as a template. It's actually in pretty decent shape. Yeah, um, other than like, see how this is removed? Yeah, mine had like a laminate, yeah, like over yeah, it. And it was, it, it was peeling back and somebody yeah. peeled it off and, and Cyclops was just gone. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. Well, underneath of this is just vinyl. So this is like a clear, yeah. very thin plastic, and then the vinyl's underneath. Right. Yeah, yeah I used to own one way back when. This so. is like four foot wide. Yep. So it's, it's a monster. Definitely. I'll see X-Men in my sleep for the next, <laughs> I, I've been seeing this logo for a long time. This project has been going on off and on for yeah. about a year. It's funny, um, this was based on one cartoon episode. I can't recall offhand, I'll probably throw it up here, just a little excerpt, but uh, it was actually based on an episode that I think didn't catch on after that, but um, it's not based on, everybody's like, oh, it's a comic book, but those actual characters, the way they drew them, That's were cool. from one episode, and I'll look that up and show it to you guys. Nice. So here's a couple more projects. There's a mixture in here. Uh, this is one of my own recent pickups, this Arctic Thunder. Arctic Thunder. Really cool game flows fan on you when you're playing. Yeah, it feels like you're really it, there. And the seat cool. has a rumbling effect. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really cool. Um, I got, this is a Miss Pac-Man cabaret. We have this Stargate that's been converted into a Mystic Marathon. That's a full custom job. We did the restoration on the cab that's actually getting laminate still. And then full custom side art that I've designed right. exclusively for him. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool. I got my own little battle zone cabaret back there. I'm restoring. Um, that is my Nintendo yeah, I see wall back hanger. There. There, nice. That's something that I've been waiting to do. It's just oh, prime. okay, yeah, I see it there. Yep. Yeah, I have some photos of you know that being done. This is another game uh, that was a Ninja Gaiden when I got it. Um, I already did the whole restoration on the cabinet, but I'm still almost undecided on what I want to do with it because it's not original, so. There's a part of me that I don't really know what I want to do with it. Right. I think I want to do it. I love ghosts and goblins, you know, so I might do that. I don't know yet. So it's kind of up in the air. Right. This is another customer. It's a kicks cabinet. Yep. Another restoration. I'm doing a, a full uh, side art, not side art, but actually a stenciling, stenciling yeah. of this. It's just black. Yeah. The line art. That's the exact cabinet I have at home. So everything, bezel, marquees, control yeah. panel, the whole deal. Now, the quick question, can this be converted to a zookeeper if you wanted to? Yeah, same it could. cabinet. It's the same cabinet, right? Exact same cabinet. And that actually, the black one there is a zookeeper. Right. It's literally the same exact cabinet. So let's show you the masterpiece here. Okay, here's what we came for. So uh, he's going to grab a light now, but um, this is amazing, man. I had, I used to have an X-Men and mine was in three pieces, believe it or not. Um, this is, I believe it's uh, mounted from the back. Um, and he's going to show it lit up in a second. It has white on the back, reverse mounted. But it's freaking awesome. That thing is huge. And there's the cabinet there. We're going to go through that in one second. All right, so the original was a translate material. And you can see how brown and burned up this got oh, years yeah. from the light and it's, it's faded out quite a bit now this is still going to appear darker because i need to make it richer so when it's lighted which i will show you here you get the true colors that you want so upon request we wanted to make this reverse mounted so see how nice it lights Oh, yeah. So once it's lighted, colors are not washed out. Looks really good. Yeah, looks really good. Especially here. It just pops. Yeah, all the text That's has been awesome. retyped. All these logos, picture, I, I made so completely one vectorized. Logo, vectorized it, 
and then just kept repeating. Oh, so you reversed it and just, wow. It's, yeah, a lot of time. I mean, I know because like I said, I uh, <laughs> I tried restoring my own CP and I actually took a little patch of it and it was a bitch to get everything together. Yep. I can't imagine doing it individually. Well, there's not much of any difference from original to that. Other than the color, obviously this is faded and it's a different material. Right, and the but, fade is what you see. Plus yeah, it doesn't like, have the Yeah, like see how this is all brown because it's, it's it's literally brown under there. It's oh, burned. I see. So that's why it, it gets, looks like it off white brown. Yeah. Yep. Dude, that's amazing. But I made the colors, I matched, I still had. And what's cool about this is every piece of art that's on this cab, I had like this A, the original piece, mm -hmm. or either new old stock, which I still have of some of these parts, NOS original or it was still on intact in the cabinet. Okay, so you're so able to kind of base it on the unfaded version. scanned, yeah. and not only just scanned, but then over top of the scan, I re-vectorized every single component, all of it. Wow. I mean, we're talking, I can't even add up the hours. I wouldn't even begin to be able to tell you how many hours are. Wow. But here is, now also, this is a brand new control panel. So this is, oh, so you, had, you cut the actual wood. Yeah, and I use a, a product, um, it's MDF. So the original was particle board, and that's it. It didn't even have paint on the top. Right. Like if you will peel it off, it's just particle board. Right. So we're using MDF with vertical grain laminate, like we talked about that we would put on mm -hmm. the Nintendo cabs. Yeah, so, I can see some of it in here. Yeah, you can see it. When this cabinet came to me, it basically came to me just like this, no guts in it, um, all obviously all original. So we basically got it back to how I have it. Yeah, it looks so factory, we man. did the entire cabinet, all the body work, this whole bottom, you can imagine from people playing it, had kick marks and, and stuff, I mean, everywhere. Wow. So this again, all vectorized. Just to give you an idea, I did this one the other day, this front piece. I think I had eight hours and wow. doing the artwork just for this one, right. one piece. And you can't really use, the only thing that could really be flipped is this image right here. Mm -hmm. It's identical to the other side. But even these, this is different characters than on the other side. Right. So each person is redrawn, the X's are redrawn, wow. like a lot, a lot of work. Let's see if you passed the test over here because I had an X-Men and I know that uh, one side was lower than the other. So there's the X-Men there. Wolverine, you can kind of see his, almost see his knees there. And let's see. Yep, it's the same. It's a little bit lower because if it was higher, this would look like Wyman because it would cover this yeah. little and part here. Yeah, when I here. was actually doing it, it took me a few hours to figure that out. Wow. I was. I scanned this side. Now part of this is still the same, right. but obviously the lettering is different. So I scanned yeah. it, I'm, I'm laying it over and I'm trying to figure out why is this not lining up and it was all due to... They dropped it down. It so that was done in the factory. Oh, it was, that, that drove yeah. me nuts. And you don't see that online, you'll see it just mirrored and that's it. But you can see you this know. has the nice satin finish. Um, now I did not laminate these sides. This particular cabinet is one of the rare that I talked about. Mm -hmm. that this actually used wood. This whole cabinet is actually plywood. Right. So super smooth finish. The cabinet wasn't horrible, but I'll tell you one thing that was horrible was getting this side art off. It took two people almost eight hours to get the artwork off. Wow. It was breaking off. And, and I had the process. It's not like we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, we, we got commercial heat guns and did, but it just kept breaking every little tiny. Yeah. And it was actually made in three pieces too. A lot of the Konami things oh, back yeah. then, you gotta remember in the 90s, technology was different. So right. they didn't have the technology to do this in one piece. So every, yeah, like, all um, the my version, art and all that is all three pieces. Yeah, mine had the original side art underneath and then it had someone who, they would just stick it over the other side art and mine had, it was in chunks like that. Yeah. On one of the sides, I remember that distinctly. This was obviously one piece originally, right? Because um, it's not that big. Another thing that I reproduced and that's cool was, was this here, and it was it's almost like a, a polystyrene, heavy plastic. It's non-adhesive backing, 
Um, I don't want to make this in a decal form because that's not how it was originally. Right. And then this was all vectorized. It's just printed directly on the surface and then laminated on top. So it's got really nice finish. That's cool. Yeah. And then the marquee will go up in here. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So I mean, this thing is just ready to be put back together. I mean, I can't wait to even see it put back, but unfortunately I won't be able to have that here because oh you're sending it out yeah, yeah. it's going out on it's monday going out in the next days. but still i mean i wanted to see when you said you were done i'm like i'll be there tomorrow <laughs> and i had all the colors you could see in these photos some of the colors i had the original there i lined up matched everything yeah i'm gonna pop those on the screen now so you can kind of see them but yeah the body work that was done the priming yeah. stages i primed and painted like some guys will even just prime just the side and that's it, or not prime, but I not only primed, sanded, and painted the whole side. Yeah. Just so I had a perfectly smooth. Dude, this looks factory fresh. And I was also able to keep intact um, the back decals. Oh, cool. So that's still there. Well, how did you manage doing that? Mask them off. <laughs> it looks like you literally somehow peel them off and peel them back on that's how yeah. good it is yeah wow so, so this, this is awesome beast for sure but yeah but you know what i mean i remember when i had mine i searched up and down and i could not find anyone that did it i even i even called konami and they said well, they're not in the u.s anymore i had to call overseas and they connected me and uh you know it, they said they don't have it available sorry but in any arcade if you own an arcade this could 100% be front and center. Oh yeah. You're like you walk in and this will get some action. Oh this, yeah. This is the only six player game that exists. Yeah. There is no other game. Yeah. It's a shame that Konami didn't make like a turtles version of this. I know. And well, there's only yeah. four turtles anyway, so. But it would have, be somebody else. <laughs> yeah, like you could be like turn. April. But or, it would be it yeah. would be cool to. Yeah. To do. You know? Yeah, that's crazy. So you're gonna be offering these um, when you think by next month, I guess. Yeah, I would sometime. say. Well, maybe by the time you have the video up, they may be available. Already. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely, if you have that, I'll put the but link in the description. They're definitely going to be, I'll give a discount to, to your viewers. Um, That's cool. For purchasing this. And it'll definitely be all available to be purchased. Wow. Well, you did it justice, man. I'm glad I made the trip out here. I appreciate it. You actually weren't too far. I'm going to make a second visit, I'm sure. Sounds good. <laughs> Play some games, hang out. Yeah, well, I appreciate you coming. Um, definitely, I always like to show people. You know, there's a lot of guys that like that they don't get to see behind the scenes of, of what happens. They just see it show up at the door, but they don't really know. Yeah, how, how it works. It on, you know? Yeah, I really appreciate the the quick tour. I mean, there's no quick way of doing it, but it, it was still cool. Well, I appreciate you stopping in, man. Yes, I head to uh, Joe's website. I'll have the link right here. I also have it in the description, and you know. By the time this publishes, like we said, it's probably going to be on the website and you can order it for your machine. This is the way to go, man. He just put so many hours into this. This is all original, vectorized, laminated. It's done with love, 100% love, because this is such a cool game. All right, guys, so that about wraps up this episode. Thanks again to Joe. It was really cool that he, um, you know, gave me a tour of the not only the X-Men artwork, but the whole shop. It was really amazing to see all the projects he was working on, like for clients and also for himself and how he actually offered, you know, the artwork to the public. It's really cool that he does that. And by the way, um, as of this video right now, he has decided to release the CPO, which is just the control panel overlay for the X-Men. So if you don't want the whole kit, you can actually just order the overlay for the control panel as well. I'm sure it's going to be popular because that's really what a lot of people need. So he does offer that with or without the wood. Um, the wood is just going to be a little bigger. It's going to be, I guess, a little more for shipping, but it might be worth it because he laminates it and everything, and it'll be just perfectly done, all cut for you and everything. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, the discount code, of course. So, of course, um, Joe really wanted to give back to the community, just like I do usually. So, uh, so we collaborated with this whole thing. So he's actually offering a discount code for all the Delusional Arcade viewers. So if you go to his website, just click on the link below in the description. And in the discount code box, just type in Dell's Arcade 10. You will get 10% off site-wide. 
and that does not expire. So it's pretty awesome that he did that and offered that to you guys, and that's really cool of you, Joe. Um, so I guess uh, that does not cover, I think, custom stuff. Um, that, of course, it all varies in price, so just contact him and he'll let you know. Um, there are some things that aren't on the site, like Ms. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, and stuff like that. He does offer those, so just contact him and he'll get those to you, you know, by um, either Facebook or email or whatever. It'll have the contact info, I guess, on the website. Um, but yeah, man, it was really cool to do that. And by the way, his kicks cabinet, if you want to see an update here, he actually um, did finish the stenciling on it. And this thing, I mean, it's flawless in my eyes. I think it looks perfect. It looks just like the original, factory fresh. Perfect colors, perfect lines came out really really great so i can't wait to see that whole thing done and by the way if you guys want to see the whole thing um put together with this x-men cabinet that we just saw because joe just did the artwork and some uh body work on that um they're going to put all the guts inside when you know he already um sent it out to the guy and he may work on a second he said he's not really sure um but once i get those pictures i will share it with you guys so you can see an update it'll just be a quick update on the pictures i'm sure it's going to look amazing um and hopefully it'll be somewhere local in new jersey that we can visit and actually see the thing in action that would be really cool to do that um but again you know that'll be in a future episode i'll just give you an update so some projects i've been working on i have a couple um i've been tinkering with the defender a little bit um i have to order some parts so i'm going to do that tonight and i have some monitors i have to wash so i'll record that and i'll just share it with you guys i have washed some monitors you know i just use simple green in the garden hose and then let it dry completely and they you know i can recap it and make them work so I'm going to work on that. Um, and I guess I also have to do sweepstakes. I guess um, we had, you know, the drawing and stuff. I still have to pick out the winners doing, using the automation. Uh, I apologize for being so late with that. I've just been super busy with work. It's just a really busy season at work. And of course, work comes first. The hobby comes second. So I do my best. So I will do that. And I'll try to get that done by the end of the week. And then I'll probably mail it the week after uh, once I package everything together. Because I have a lot of stuff I got to send you guys. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate when you guys subscribe and you share it and uh, you talk about it. And I'm, I'm really um, looking forward to talking and uh, you know, conversing with you guys on Twitter and stuff. I love answering back and getting ideas for future shows. So if you have any ideas, always hit me up. You know, I will never ignore you. I'll always answer you no matter what. Um, but I guess that's about it. So um, again, hit the bell icon. You'll see it right here, this little graphic. Uh, basically, um, if you click on that, it'll send you an email kind of notifying you like, hey, Delusionals Arcade has posted a video. So don't forget to do that. So I guess that about wraps it up. So I guess I'm going to end it on this note. I guess I'll talk to you next time. Take care.